this is just a, sh a short file share because of something that I just experienced and I acknowledged, acknowledged within my own heart and soul and the essence of my spirit of the truth. And that is that, um, because I wrote, I, I wrote a, I wrote a complaint, an online complaint, and I sent it to the Better Business Bureau in Meridian, Idaho. And uh, I wish I could tell you what I, I don't remember what I wrote. It just comes out. But it had to do with um, system, finite energy systems, eternal life systems, systems engineering. And, uh, and then I was reminded um, about where I'm at now, the, the, the point that I'm at now. And I, and I think back to when I'm four years of age and I have this avatar up and running as fast as I possibly can. So I know I'm speaking to the choir with guardians when I say this, but um, it's true. Um, I had to be willing to accept an enormous amount of massive, uh, just massive, massive trauma and, uh, and being abused on a massive level and, and be okay with that. Okay. Uh, to, to maintain your, your balance uh, because of the job that you have to do. And, and when I experienced that, when I thought about how many times I've been abused, insulted, cussed at, uh, targeted, you know, a lot of the, the experiences that I've shared on my record, that, like my father, right? everything that I experienced. And when I sort of put, I put, I call it, I put it through the blender, all the records. And, and, and I'm going, the very idea that I could even spin my way out of all that and then spin my way back to where I'm at now. I'm reminded of um, the most important things that I remember because I know this, what it means to be a guardian, which has to do with pure, eternal, absolute love is eternal trust because that's eternal love. And that's eternal honor because of the one we serve, which is the first spirit, which is the eternal spirit of fire, which is cosmic love, which is cosmic law. So we all know that. Okay. And so... That means you have to be willing to roll with all your punches and take it. You just have to take it and not become over overwhelmed by it. Because it's very easy to become overwhelmed by it because I know that. The, the, the massive amount of emotional load, which is loading memory, right? And burning and burning the, 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 the enormity of burning off that much dirty electricity so that you're breathing the core. And so that trust which are security keys, which are access keys, which are security protocols. So what prompted this video is when I was reminded that so much of what I experienced when I kept my mouth shut, being abused and, and all that, uh, right, is keeping my mouth shut and accepting it, right? And why is that? Security protocols. And he might not necessarily think that it has anything to do with security, but oh, it does. Right, because you cannot compromise your mission because of those you're associated with that are performing their missions. So you don't want to comp compromise security teams. So the security protocols are as tight as tight can be when it comes to access keys and it comes to transmission and what I experienced when I encry encryption. Be open the file. And I got the message. This is where I'm supposed to be. This is what I'm supposed to do. This is where I'm supposed to be. Exactly what I'm supposed to be there. Not five minutes later. Not five minutes before, because the timing has to be absolutely precise. That's why what I did on December 15, 2016, I wasn't late. That's exactly when I did that. I was a little bit late. So you know how it is with mathematics, right? And I and like measurements, right? To get off one set of drugs that I was on. And I, and I took a little bit too much time with that. And I fell a little bit behind. So now I'm like playing catch up. You're spinning your way back, right? And that's getting rid of codes, burning off the code, like clearing the cash, Right, I have a finite energy system, which are represented by finite energy codes, the 66 and two thirds. Right, I, I call them IMP codes. Right, and and so I, I, I just it just came to me, you know, when I when I thought about um, being a friendly face, being a friendly person, and um, and always being there to support all those that are um, sent, sacred living sentient life, whether it's a tree, you know, uh, I, anything that falls and is struggling, just like when I was a little kid, I'm not supposed to experience 
any any suffering, any harm being done to anything, let alone me. And that was and that was that was that was a challenge. Obviously, as a small child, not just what my parents were experiencing, what they were doing to themselves, the programs they're held captive by, that don't serve them, but everything that's in nature. All the tree, all the flora and the fauna, the ocean, everything in the ocean, everything in the lakes, everything that's alive, right? Because we're all connected. So you can imagine all that trauma being being communicated through ley lines of communication between seeds that are planted. Now they're aware of what you're aware of. So you see how that works between an internal life system, which is an integrated system, which is mathematical, structural, spiritual integrity. And then operating in a system that is the opposite of that, a spiritual torture chamber. Right? A maze. The mirrors, all the mirrors. Which one are you? <laughs> right? Everything you are, I'm giving love to Right? So the same energy that's flowing through a bird is flowing through me. <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up? A thunderbird. How's that? Uh, um, so I have fun with it. You know, um, the life force. Right? Keeping the lights on, the life force. Keeping the lights on. So, yes, uh, the, the security. Security was... Um, ma- you know how it is in their system. They call it maximum security. It was maximum security. It's cosmic level security. You better believe it was. Uh, you know all the testimonies you've heard through all the guardian workshop materials about waves that were lost, waves that were coming in at different times, and how many were lost. Right? I came in 1951. I'm still here. Okay, so I know I know I call it the gold standard, right? The silver and gold standard. That's all. That's the standard. That's the mother. Right. So I am I am the mother arc, thirteenth mother arc. So you better well bet um, I have fun with this. I, I did this with girls that I used to know. You want to run the show? Go right ahead. Here's the keys to the car. Okay, all life comes out of you. So. Right. What would you like me to do for you? Want me to wash your car, wax your car, comb your hair, give you a bath, elevate your status? You're a mother, right? I came out of a mother. I know it's 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 uh, nursery school. That's what I called it when I was a kid. I'm back in nursery school, and uh, so you know, star seed nurseries. You know, they all begin somewhere. And uh, so, yeah. And so being in the womb of a mother is, um, we know what the law is. That's why I have certain ways that I share by virtue of what I experience. You don't go into a mother's garden, right? And start killing off the garden, like Eden. Uh, that's, That's forbidden. In my book, my life book, my life force, that's forbidden. You know, when you think of rules of engagement, of spiritual war, spiritual battlefields, right? Even though love is a law, which is the law of building a system, building a universe, because that's what it's born out of, which is the eternal spirit of fire, which is cosmic love, which is cosmic fire, right? And um, so, you know, when you put it through the context of all the, law, the, 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 the wars, you know, that, that are written in history, pick any war that you want, right? So you can imagine what it's like when they're hitting hospitals, you know, where people are dying and they're wounded. So take that to the extreme. When it comes to spiritual torture chambers, right, which are false light vacuums. So yes, knowing how to pull a real vacuum. The true echo. The echo core. You know, four gated wise. Silver and gold. And that's the one I serve. I serve forever. And so that's why I'm here. 
right? It's service. Uh, eternal love and service. It's not just love and service for me. It's eternal love and service to all sentient life forms. That's what a guardian is. And your ability to be able to do that, our ability to be able to do that together as one, one grand design. Yeah, the grand creator design. And uh, so I know it by no error codes. That's why when I was a child, you know what a test light is when you want to test the electrolytes? How much power are we losing? So I was doing that right out, right out of the, right out of the womb. Loss and gain, loss and gain, right? Gaining weight, losing weight, gaining weight, losing weight. Metabolic function is mathematical function, right? So I just wanted to. Sh- that's just one of my short file shares. When some things come to me, I I pull out my playbook, and I go share part of my playbook. It's already happened, but these are some of the lessons that I share of what we've learned through that experience that I share with all of you, right? And, and that's what spirits do, right? Spirits that love to learn, share what they've learned with other spirits, right? And so they, they, and so when all the records are open, when the cosmic level records are open, that's full access. And that's what it means to run full capacity, which is full sentient capacity. When you're choosing to, to learn at the highest rate of speed because you're on fire, that fire is cosmic love. That's what I experienced in me. So my heart is always on fire. And so, um, yeah, pulling a vacuum. That's why it, um, it, it was so beautiful to experience uh, another native tribe. Jeanette Niganobli tell me, yes, I can hear the echo. And when I experienced it, she put something in my window at the same time I put it in her window. Bang! That is called precision timing. That's breathing timing. That's echo timing. That's the true vacuum, still point timing of the internal flame, the eternal flame of Adama Amorea. The innocence of awareness is the purity, which is the security keys, which are the access keys. Yeah, builder's tools. And so I want to thank all of you um, for all of you that have participated in, in the homecoming the reunion. And, um, so sometimes I used to say to mom, I can cry forever, cry for joy. Right. Um, and, and so I, I know that that is a good sign. There are a lot of signs, symbols, um, not just healing, but how you're doing, you know, spiritually within your own soul and the essence of your spirit. And I know from experience, if you can still cry, that is a very good sign. Okay. That means you're still experiencing, you still got some light in you, which is what love is, which is real light, not false light. If your level of sensitivity is such that you cry when you're experiencing the loss of life force and another being, another living sentient being, and you cry over that, that's how we heal. Okay. I know that. That's why I cried for four days. Right, remember I'm, um, the gut rent. What they call it? What we used to call that, Mama. Your gut is wrenching. Uh, you feel it right to the very core of your spiritual being. How deeply it hurts to feel that. And when you experience eternal, absolute love, because it goes that deep to the very core, the silver and gold made it core. That's the biggest target is how deeply we feel, which is the essence of our spirit. They want that essence because they don't have any feelings anymore. And that's why I cry for four days. They lost the ability to feel for others because they don't feel that within their own selves. I know. That's why we're here. That's, that's, that's the true nature of crisis intervention. You know? So, um, Y'all have a beautiful night. Be calm.